So recently in a video on my college website, I referred to amygdala hijack and a bunch of people asked me what that was. Um, and and the, the term amygdala hijack is something that was coined by the psychologist Daniel Goleman in his 1996 book, Emotional Intelligence. And it, it refers to situations where the, the amygdala, you know, the, the small almond shaped cluster of nuclei that's located deep within the temporal lobes of the brain overrides the, the prefrontal cortex up here at the front. And that's the area responsible for rational thought and decision making. Um, and this, this hijacking occurs in response to perceived threats, triggering an immediate, um, you know, quick, fast emotional response before the, the rational part of our brain can, can intervene. Basically, we react with strong emotions before we can think about what it is that we're doing. So in, in, in evolutionary terms, this um, this response was crucial for, for survival, you know, because it enables quick reactions to danger. And it clearly has a lot of utility, you know, especially if we're being chased by a bear. Um, um, however, in, in you know, in modern societies where where threats are often psychological rather than physical. And, and heck, you know, I don't get chased by that many bears here in Bournemouth. Um, uh, but when 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 they are psychological threats, you know, and, and amygdala hijack can can lead to inappropriate appropriate and disproportionate emotional reactions. And understanding and managing this process can be useful. Well, well you know, I mean, really important for maintaining um, emotional balance and, and mental health. The, the amygdala plays the, this the pivotal role in processing emotions, particularly fear and aggression. And when a threat is perceived, the amygdala sends distress signals to the hypothalamus, initiating the fight, flight, freeze response. And this response floods the body with adrenaline and cortisol, preparing it to either confront or escape the threat or, or sometimes freeze. And while this was, you know, you know, mainly um, advantageous in, in prehistoric times. In today's world, it often leads to overreactions, to, to, to non-life-threatening situations, such as conflicts at work or personal disagreements or, you know, arguments on social media. Um, and, and research has shown that chronic exposure to stress can lead to, you know, heightened baseline state of amygdala activation, making individuals more susceptible to frequent amygdala hijacks. And this can contribute to you know, various mental health issues, including anxiety or depression, chronic stress disorders, the kind of stuff that, that's really quite prevalent um, um, these days. Learning to, to manage and overcome amygdala hijacks, therefore, you know, that's got a number of benefits. It enables individuals to respond to stressful situations more calmly, more rationally. Um, it, it improves interpersonal relationships and, and decision making, of course. It also reduces the risk of chronic stress and those, you know, all the associated health problems that, that come with that, such as cardiovascular disease, a weakened immune functioning. Um, and so by enhancing emotional regulation, individuals can achieve a greater sense of well-being and resilience in the face of life's challenges. And, um, you know, th th there's a range of strategies that I teach in my, my college classes to help overcome, uh, to help overcome amygdala hijack, including uh, you know self hypnosis, and, and there's a link in my bio to learn it for free. By the way, um, 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 breathing exercises, mindfulness, acceptance, self compassion, um, improving quality of sleep, you know, and, and a whole bunch more stuff. Um, um, but okay, I hope that explains. I send you my best wishes. Toodaloo.